Hey everybody, welcome back. Race Craze here with another diecast review. Um, digging into some of the older, or older, this is 2014, but I'm going through some of the more random non-race wins, just kind of goofy ones that I've got uh, as oddballs here and there. This is Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2014 Kickstart, uh, Mount, or Mountain Dew Kickstart Chevy. Uh, this car, I'm not even sure where it was ran at. Um, I really don't know much of the details of this. Uh, I like it in my Mountain Dew set. I have a whole collection of Mountain Dew cars. I've got uh, three Casey Kane Mountain Dew cars, a f couple of probably four or five Dale Juniors now, and then uh, f three Chase Elliotts with more on the way. So um, that's uh, kind of where this fits into my collection. Otherwise, it is kind of a random piece. But without further ado, let's get on to the diecast review itself. So there's our 2014 box. Um, this is a pretty standard box for this year. Uh, we get the picture of the car there. Ugh. Let's try to focus there better. That's better. That's a lot better. And then we got the same thing over here. And then we go over here, and we've got Dale Earnhardt Jr. Mountain Dew Kickstart 2014 SS, but I got so much light. It's a little better. It's hard to read. Anyway, there's no, nothing else to it than that. That's that's all it is. Um, on to the die cast. Now, this is, a, this is a neat one. So this one I had got from somebody. I'm not really sure where I got this one, actually. Got a little while ago, and I didn't expect it to be this cool. So we'll start on the left side here. So down the left side, we've got Goodyear. We've got this fade from black to like a bluish green, and then into green. And then we've got our numbers here, big. I mean, and they're pretty good sized numbers for the Chevy SS. Oh, uh, what's underneath that? Is that a scratch? Actually, might be a scratch. Yeah, there's a little scratch on here. Oh well. That happens right in there, right between the numbers, there's a little scratch. I guess crap happens, but, um, so yeah, numbers are pretty good size. Uh, we got Mountain Dew Kickstart, Kelly Blue Book, all that down there. We got a winner sticker up there, so this was obviously between Daytona 500 and the first Pocono race. Uh, down the rest of the right side here, American Ethanol Ring, National Guard. On to the back, we got our fuel cell in here. Here's our fuel cell. Hey, that looks really good, actually. Normally, I don't get that good of lighting in there. Uh, Mountain Dew Kickstart, Chevy SS. Uh, yeah, a little dusty. Uh, not bad. DIN 697. Um, here's our opening roof flaps. And look at that. Look at that red. I mean, that's the the pattern in the number 88. It's really neat. Um, uh, the other thing is the windshield banner right up there, Aaron Hart Jr., is in big, bold letters. Uh, this only went on from 2014 mid-2014 to early-2015. Then they brought the sizing back down and kind of corrected it. The other thing is the spoiler. This is the spoiler on any 2013 car and early 2014 cars. Um, by the time race wins were coming out for, I believe, Charlotte? So at least by May, the race wins had the plastic cover over it, and it always had that kind of clear topping for the, the big spoiler they had on the cars at that time. Um, but this obviously must have been the, before that, because the, the Dale Jr. Daytona 500 has this spoiler, but the Pocono has uh, the right uh, spoiler on there. So anyway, back down the right side, Mountain Dew Kickstart. Uh, got a really nice color of green in there. I mean, honestly, look, just cut the rest of the car out. If the whole car was this greenish color, that would look pretty sweet. So uh, really neat design down there. Uh, we got our tailpipes there, down the rest of the right side, and over to the front. Over to the front, here's our Chevy SS front end. We've got um, that little, the green splitter down here. Uh, fiber hair out of here. Um, we've got the, the green uh, splitter down here that looks pretty nice. I always like when they got a colored splitter that's different from the car. I think it just looks nice. Um, and hood's in there really good. That's a good thing. Hood sits real nice. Uh, there we, there's our engine detail. Nothing crazy to write home about, but just our regular engine detail with Chevy emblem on the bottom of the hood. Um, I think that's the biggest reason. I've started to collect Elite only, or not Elite only, but primarily Elites is because of the engine detail. Um, I like being able to open up the hood of a car and see legitimate engine detail, not, you know, not just a plastic block. So, but yeah, this is a standard engine detail from 2013 to 20, well now it's still the same uh, on the ARCs. So, uh, yeah, there's, um, that's pretty much it for this car. Uh, not a lot of, 
crazy features or anything that was out of the ordinary. It's just a really neat car for the for the scheme of it because it's that kickstart uh, maroon red, and then they put that on the numbers, and it's just uh, it's just a neat uh, different colored car. Uh, it goes good with uh, I got his Mountain Dew throwback. I've got both of the 2017 Mountain Dew schemes. I got to get the Dew SA one yet. That Dew SA scheme is nice. When I get when I can find that one, that that one's coming into my collection. So. Uh, hopefully I can get to that one pretty soon, but uh, we'll see when that when that comes around. So um, anyway, this has been Race Craze. If you like the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed before s uh, Sunday, Sunday, July seventh at seven thirty. Diecast giveaway to a random subscriber for that. That'll be uh, posted in either a video or I'll post it just um, on Instagram. Uh, which reminds me, if you haven't, make sure you go over and follow me on Instagram. Um, it's race craze there too. Uh, I do post pictures of cars that I get, uh, pictures of the tracks, things like that, videos, little short clips and stuff like that. But um, you know, this is primarily you. This is all uh, reviews and maybe you know uh, reviews of the weekend if I go to a racetrack or something. But uh, Instagram has a little bit more variety as far as the different types of stuff I'll post. So uh, make sure you go over there and uh, find find it on Instagram just in case you're the winner. You want to make sure you can see it. So. Uh, anyway, this has been Race Craze, and we will see you in the next video.